be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell and hit the like button. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is just going to be this super cute demo. I've decided to do a little series of like demo nails where I do a single tip design and talk you guys through it. So I really hope you enjoy it. I've come up with some super cute designs for you all which are varied and like a big variety. So they're not specific to one theme or you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoy them and I hope you learn something from them. And remember, they can be done in any colour combinations, but it's just to kind of give you some inspiration and ideas of how you can kind of use glitters and acrylics and decals and stickers and everything like that to create fabulous nails. So I'm starting off just by applying toasted rose as the base. And I'm going to be ombre that with... Um, I think it was Beyonce, but I'm just gonna double check as it comes onto the screen because honestly, I recorded this a few days ago now and I've been so busy. Um, so yeah, it is Beyonce. It is a pre-mixed glitter infused acrylic and it's a gorgeous gold, perfect for Christmas and this time of year. But honestly, I would totally wear this through the summer as well with the sun beaming down on it, it would look glorious. Um, so yeah, I'm just popping Beyonce on the tip and then I'm blending that back up the nail over the top of toasted rose and it's going to give us this really nice ombre look. So as you can see, that on its own looks like a gorgeous nail and you could totally leave it like that if you didn't want to add the floral stickers. But I'm going to use the floral sticker set from Glitter Planet and I'm just going to pick off a few of these small flower arrangements and we're just going to apply those to that tip and I can just see this now as a full set. You'd leave some of the nails plain with just toasted rose and add these on a few. If I was doing it on myself I'd probably have my initial an L um, on my ring finger and then you know space some of those florals out on some of the other nails and it would look gorgeous. Um, so yeah, hopefully it sparks your imagination and the ones that I have coming over the next like week or so can also give you some ideas as well. Also don't forget to share it because that really helps me out and I'm going to do my shout out right now because I've talked way too much for the start of this video. So as I apply this, I'm just going to do my Ninja Squad shout out. So today's shout out goes to Jessica and also Shannon. So thank you so much for your comments. Leave a comment below to be featured in one of my upcoming videos and I will give you a mention. So yes. Okay, let's carry on with the video. I'm still applying those decals. It is a little bit tricky when you forget your tweezers and you have just done a super long set of nails. So it was a little bit on the tricky side, but of course, if you just get some nail mate tweezers, you will have no problems. Okay, so next I'm gonna come in and now that I've applied my um, stickers and I've made sure that everything is flat, I'm using Nail Mate Crystal Clear Acrylic and I'm just gonna go ahead and cap this design. I really like to encapsulate stickers because I feel like it gives a much better finish and it just makes the overall look more like crisp and I don't even know how to explain it, but I just feel like I don't know, it's just the best way, okay? <laughs> if I was doing with gel polish, I would make sure to double top coat or cap with builder gel, of course, if you're doing hard gel. Um, I'm using acrylic, so I'm coming in with my clear acrylic and just making sure that they are on. Um, you just want to make sure that they are going to last for the duration that the set is on the nail. On the nail? <laughs> on the hands, you know what I'm saying, guys? Come on, it's been like a long year like this year has been so long it hasn't but it has anyway moving on i didn't file this nail but of course you would go ahead and file if you've applied your product and it's super smooth and crisp then that's fine 
but next I'm coming in with some details so I'm just using the French white gel polish and the detailer brush from Glitter Planet and don't remember guys I do always link the products down below so if you are interested in anything you can just go ahead and check it out and the links should be there so yeah, I'm coming in with the white gel polish and just painting a nice kind of swirly flurry design. I'm not being too specific with it because I want these little demos to be beginner friendly. We're not doing anything too intricate, intricate, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And um, yeah, and we just want to make it nice and easy, simple, fun and effective. And I think this turned out so gorgeous and it could work at all lengths. If you wanted it super long, that could work. If you wanted it shorter than this, it could still work. So I think having designs in your kind of design bank of ideas is always a good thing to have. So when a client pops in and they're like, oh, just do anything, you're like, okay I know exactly what I'm gonna do today you're not just stuck like oh my god what am I gonna do today so it's always good to have some you know signature designs or something that you enjoy doing so you can just whack it out the bag in any color combo or any kind of I don't know what the word is you know compilation I guess that's I don't know you know what I'm saying guys you can just kind of put something together but you know the technique no matter what colour theme, you could adjust this. You could put a gold underneath, you could do purple, pink, anything underneath this um, simple design and it would look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to go ahead and cure that polish in the light and then this is where we are at and I'm going to come in next with the Nailmate Super Gloss. So this is the No Wipe Top Coat and it dries without a sticky layer which just speaks to my heart. I love a top coat that has no sticky layer that's just good to go but is super super glossy hence the name super gloss because honestly it's bloody gorgeous i do apologize as well my camera did go out of focus a few times throughout this video because i do think it is the backdrop it's like a dark gray i usually have white so that's why um but yeah this is the final look i really hope you loved it i know it was super simple and kind of short but hopefully it sparked some imagination or inspiration if it did give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave me a comment down below because i might feature you in my next video and as always remember guys that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and i love you bye